Hey guys, the Langbanger here. New deck profile for March 2013, and we have Karakori OTK. The point of this deck, OTK. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can play Karakori. You can play it control, you can play with the Machina engine, you can play with the Girgia engine. I just decided to go with this route for a couple of reasons. One, because this deck actually topped YCS Miami. So, that's where I got some of the ideas. Now, his build was using Karakori Anatomy, Karakori Cash Cache. And while I love those cards, when looking at the stack on a competitive level, you don't want to use cards that could be really dead when you're top decking, or just cards that just scream win more. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I just cut those sort of cards. He also had a weird trap lineup. He had like two decree like the solemns and like torrentials i can't exactly remember what it was but it, it was like really awkward um but then again i guess if he did top the ycs then you know maybe the stack at least deserves some discussion so let's go into the deck list shall we you have three nanishi which is a double summoner you have two quick which lets you grab a guy from your graveyard when it destroys. Uh, you have three Nisamu. It's a Mystic Tomato recruiter. Three Strategist, which shifts a monster's position upon summon. One Sizan. Three Psychic Commander. And three Solar Wind Jammer. Now, somehow I overlook this card because typically what I'll do, I'll look at a brand new set, maybe a week two weeks max before it actually comes out now i don't really look into the ocg but you know i'll just look a week or two before and i'm like okay well these cards i want to pick up these cards you know etc etc somehow i overlooked this card and this card actually breaks what this deck used to be able to do you used to have to use cyber dragon cyber dragon still a really good card but to me this card is miles better now, it's sort of like Cyber Dragon, but then it isn't. It's a level 5 light machine, and it says if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand, but its original attack and defense become halved. During each of your standby phases, increase the level of this card by 1. There can only be one face-up solar wind jammer on the field. Now, pretty much the majority of his effect doesn't really matter but we're looking at the first line here it says if you control no monsters you can special summon this card so if you look at cyber dragon you have to control no monsters and your opponent has to control something so if you win the die roll you can go off and create a board you know do whatever you want and the stack can definitely spam sinkers like no other i would say right now i mean besides a deck maybe using rekindling um this deck should be able to spit out sinkers the easiest. Uh, I really like this card. Um, now, outside of just being able to, you know, no monsters on the board, you can summon this. That's amazing. This card also dodges bottomless trap hole, which Cyber Dragon does not. So, that's another big plus. So, I just really like the way that this deck's going now. Um, let's say Prophecy does become a really big deck. This deck actually may have one of the better Prophecy matchups, and that is because it can go into Naturia Beast. Now, I am not using Karakori Merchant right now, uh, simply because when you summon it, really good effect, but then it's also just sitting there on the board, and that just screams, you know, whatever to your opponent. I mean, they're just going to go to town on you, and, you know, that could be a really bad end result now. You could get away with using Merchant if you use a lot of back rows, but I really don't have the space because I'm purely going for the OTK here. So, onto the spells, you have Dark Hole, 3 Teleport, Heavy, Limiter, 2 Machine Duplication, Mind Control, Monster Reborn, 3 MST, 2 Pot of Duality, and Scapegoat. Now, Scapegoat may seem like a weird card, but I've always liked that card. Um, with you getting Earth Tokens, you can go in the Naturia Beast this way. You can go into any of the Naturia Sancros, actually, you know, just depending on what you have the room for and all that good stuff. Uh, mind Control, 
um, it's not so much used for the sinker aspect, but you know, you do use quite a different amount of you know level monsters i mean you're using a five threes fours so whatever you grab you can exceed you know to some degree so i just really like that now this deck does plan the otk so that's why i like the two part of duality some people may look at that card and say okay well why is this card in there if you're just going for the otk well you know you can't always have everything in life I wish I could, but, you know, you got to play set up a little bit. So it might take you a few turns, but then you'll be able to finally get off the OTK. So onto the traps, you have two Call of the Haunted, one Solemn Judgment, one Solemn Morning, and two Torrential Tributes. Now, if you'd like, you can take out the two Call of the Haunted for two Bottomless if you want to go a little more protection. But as I said, OTKing, I really like Call of the Haunted because it can grab your Solar Wind Jammer. It can grab anything that you need to, and you know, it's kind of like a toolbox for this stack. So, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the stack, and uh, stay tuned for more deck profiles. Thanks. Peace.